So the question is, is what is domain forwarding? So domain forwarding is a great service you can use from your DNS service provider that allows you to forward your domain name that you purchase from them to another URL. This is an absolutely great tool to use in the modern world, especially with so many companies using other people's platforms. This allows you to have your own domain, but not have to run your own web server. So to understand how DNS normally works, as far as websites go. Normally, you purchase your domain name, uh, failednormal.com, uh, geeksexynews.com, geekfieldnotes.com, so on and so forth. And then what you do is you point that to a web server, so an Apache web server or an IIS web server. You then install uh, your your website onto that server and then whenever anybody goes to your domain name failnormal.com they get routed to your web server your web server then knows what to do with that traffic and then the person is presented with a website and so that's how people have been doing websites with dns for you know decades now and that's the normal way to do it well the question comes is what happens about in the modern world when you want to use a platform's profile or page for you as your website so let's say you go to facebook.com you create a places page for your business and you want that to be the website for your business but you sit there and you look at that horrible name that they give you www.facebook.com places slash 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 and it just it just looks absolutely horrible well what you can do with domain forwarding is you can go to godaddy or hostgator or some other dns registrar you can purchase a domain name from them so again failed failnormal.com or geekfield notes.com and then after you purchase the domain name from them you go and you look for the option for forwarding the domain and so all you do is you go and there'll be a little a little box and essentially you can copy and paste the url of where you want your your web visitors to go and then when people go to failnormal.com or let's say the dailyblob.com instead of going to your website they'll get redirected uh, to whatever url that you provided in the configuration set so right now, uh, if you look at thedailyblob.com, so I own uh, the the domain name thedailyblob.com, but I don't want to run a website uh, for thedailyblob.com. So what I've done is I've purchased a service from podbean.com. So podbean.com allows me to provide people uh, video podcasts of the two-hour shows that I create every day, uh, and they host all of that. So now instead of me having to set up my own website, server, me having to set up WordPress or whatever else, me having to do all those configurations, what I do is I pay Podbean a set amount every month. And then what, I, what I've had happen is that the dailyblob.com is now forwarded to the dailyblob.podbean.com and so now it gets redirected that way so that way i can have a domain name that's very easy to tell people so if you you want to you want to listen to my 2 hour shows after i do them you go to the dailyblob.com uh, so i get the ease of use of a domain name without having to deal with all the configurations and actually building up a website this can be very useful right now in the modern world, especially with a lot of people being concerned about platforms and whether or not they will continue to use platforms. Now, we see a lot of things nowadays uh, with people worried about being deplatformed. So they see like uh, Alex Jones or they see Gab.com or they see somebody else deplatformed. And so a lot of times when we, we talk about platforms, when we talk about whether or not we, trace, uh, we trust platforms, the people get the wrong idea. They think, well, I'm not political. I'm not you know, right wing or left wing. I'm just, I'm just somebody down the middle. I'm just trying to sell pizzas or whatever else. You know, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. I'm not worried about deplatforming. But the big thing to understand here is you may just simply self deplatform. Remember, if you're building a business, you're generally not building a business for one or two years. You may be building a business for, for two or three decades. And so when you get a domain name and you start giving things like URLs to all your customers and all your clients, they may have that information, not just for a couple of months, but for a couple of years or maybe even 10 years. When you hand out business cards, people keep business cards for a long time. So what happens? Let's say right now you like Facebook. Facebook is the greatest thing in the world. It's bringing you a lot of customers. You're very happy with Facebook. So you go out there and you plug Facebook's URL onto your business card because you, have, you want everybody to go to Facebook's 
website in order to find out more about your business. Well, what happens in five years? What happens when the next Facebook comes out? Or what happens if Facebook does something incredibly stupid and you just simply decide you don't want to use Facebook anymore? Well, if all of your marketing material all this information about your company organization has been put out there with the Facebook URL, then when you decide to go over to another platform or you decide to do something else, then you have a big transition cost. Now you have to put out new advertising. Now you have to tell people with the old advertising where the new website is, so on and so forth. On the other hand, if you buy a domain name from day one, and then you forward it to wherever you want it forwarded to. You forward it to YouTube or you forward it to Facebook or you forward it to Twitter or whatever else. And then after a while you decide, you know, I don't want to use that platform anymore. I want to use something else. Then all you do is you change one configuration for that domain forwarding and now everybody gets redirected to that new place. So I look at that now with Geek Field Notes. So I'm creating this specific type of instructional video now. Uh, and I'm kind of curious to see whether or not it will work. <laughs> whenever you start a new project, whenever you start a new project in technology, you hope for the best and then you see what happens. And so these videos may do very well or they may fail and everybody hates them. Here's the thing. I don't want to build up a website. I don't want to have to go through all of the advertising cost and resource consumption of trying to point people to a website with these videos if I don't know if they're going to work, right? Because I don't, will this work? Won't this work? I don't know. So what I can do is I, I bought the domain name Geek Field Notes. And so Geek Field Notes now redirects to a YouTube channel. I can go along, I can see whether or not people like the videos, I can see what about the videos they like, I can see what I want to change, so on and so forth. I can do all of that experimentation on YouTube where I don't have to worry about configurations, I don't have to worry about security, I don't have to worry about a lot of things. And then once I've got enough content, once I've got enough traction to know where I'm going and what I want to do, then what I can do is I can build my own WordPress site with my own video backend, with everything that goes along with it, and then I I simply then point Geek Field Notes now to my new website, no longer to YouTube, and now everybody just simply gets re redirected there. There'll be a little bit of confusion. They'll go there. They'll see the videos, but it won't be YouTube. They'll scratch your head. They'll click on a video. They'll watch a video, and everybody will be happy. And so this is the type of reason why uh, you want your domain name. Uh, so any type of business, basically the first thing that you should do in the modern world is if you're going to start a business, you get a domain name. The reason being is, one, uh, so that you have some, some place for people to go to for a website, again, even if it gets redirected somewhere else, and plus two, uh, you get your own email address. So Eli at failnormal.com or Eli at Eli the computer guy .com, and that looks more professional especially when you go out there and buy business cards. If you're buying business cards for $40 or $100, this way you can have a nice domain name on there. You can have a nice email address on there. It makes you look more professional, even when you that's not you are not necessarily that professional at that point, and it's a lot easier to close sales. So that's what domain forwarding is, and that's why it's important, whether, whether you're political or not. I know right now you may be sitting there and you think this is all about politics. It's all about... You know, deplatform, but it's also it's also about business, right? If you have a local pizza shop, you know, Baltimore, Baltimore's best pizza shop. If you're pointing everybody to that Facebook page, what happens in a couple of years when another site or another platform is a better place for your business? If you have if you already have a domain name, you simply forward it to that new place, and then that's all the work you have to do. Versus if you you know, had put out the URL for Facebook or for whatever else for a number of years. Now there's a huge painful migration process to get people to know where they should go to next. So that's what domain, domain name forwarding is and why you should care.